guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another speed build and to another installment of the Squish. Today we are building a 28 tile micro home coming in at 31,000 simoleons, and I believe this is located in Newcrest. So the theme, I have no idea what I'm naming this build by the way, obviously you guys can see it, but I have no clue. But the theme for this build is actually based off of a villager I have in Animal Crossing. I got a lot of suggestions to build something from my game, and this is just loosely inspired on one of my villagers. I didn't want to build my house because I haven't focused on it at all, and it's just a cluster of lava lamps and xylophones and tarantulas, and I don't think that would be too exciting to build. Uh, so this is based off of the personality, house, and clothing of my villager, Dom. He is a little sheep boy who loves working out and ends every sentence with Indeedaroo. He has all pink furniture, he lives in this little log cabin, and all he talks about is gains how his delts are going to look in different outfits and like just all about pre and post workout like food and he's a little sheep and he's so cute and I just <laughs> I love him. He's so funny and adorable. And so I wanted to make a house that was reminiscent of his little log cabin, had lots of pink in it and lots of athletic stuff. So that's what we're doing here today. And it just happened to be a tiny house. And I had a lot of fun with this because imagining a character like that and trans like translating it into The Sims was really interesting. I don't think I would have ever combined the concept of log cabin, athlete, and bright pink or like pastel pinks. There's a, com a couple different pinks in this house. I don't think that ever would have crossed my mind if it weren't for Dom, but like I love him so much so I needed to do this. Uh, so yeah, obviously you don't need to play Animal Crossing or be super familiar with that character. I just thought this would be a really fun idea uh, based on some suggestions from you guys and also it's just a really unique personality type I think to uh, make a tiny house for. So if you guys have any other suggestions, please let me know because I'd like to do some more tiny houses in the coming weeks. I feel like I've stepped away from them a little bit lately, and I think maybe that was necessary to get my creative juices flowing a little bit, but I'm excited to build some more because it's where my heart is at. The squish is just the best. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. But we're just working on the landscaping here, and there's lots of outdoor space. I do that in all of my tiny houses because you don't have a lot of space inside, so you gotta make the most out of your outdoor living spaces as well. So all of the workout equipment is under that roof over on the right side. I did that on purpose so that the things would be protected from the rain and all of that and, you know, just a covered space. And I just wish we had like a pull-up bar or something. In my game, the only athletic things I've had so far are a bike and a football. So that's what's outside his house in my town. But in this game, <laughs> I was able to add like a weight machine, also the bike, a punching bag, like so many things. Um, also inside in a little bit, we're really going to deck out a woodworking table. And I know that doesn't quite make sense with, okay, wait, what log cabin athlete pink in Animal Crossing, everybody has a little woodworking table. He's almost always in there, like, crafting up something new when I go to visit his house. So I had to, of course, add that to the inside of this house. And I just really like how it came together. You can see there's some, um, like, athletic posters over in the corner. This is our little kitchen space with the pink curtains. Oh, my goodness. I just had a little bit too much fun with this one. And I think that's just because it was for my villager Dom and I just love him so much. I think having a specific character you're building something for really helps you to get into the zone, really uh, figure out what that particular character or sim would like. And uh, I think it just adds to it a little bit. So uh, I quite enjoyed that. I'll probably do some more builds in the coming weeks that are revolved around specific characters. Maybe not from Animal Crossing, but like maybe existing Sims in the game. Maybe ones I create, maybe some townies. I'm not sure, but I think it's kind of fun to already have a character specifically in mind um, rather than just coming up with it as I build, which is what I typically do. Uh, sometimes I have a character in mind, but like a character that actually exists, I think would be really fun to build around. Uh, I made sure to add 
those adorable little planters on top of the fridge because I feel like he would have smiley little plants like that. And of course, a weightlifting trophy because he deserves it. Um, <laughs> just like some cute decorations, some candles, some books, like typical stuff. And then I thought this little lamp that came with Outdoor Retreat worked really well for the whole log cabin vibe. And then I added like some little hot chocolates. One of my other villagers, I feel like looks similar to the little uh, container that's next to the hot chocolate. And I was like, maybe she gave that to him. I know I'm thinking way too much into this, but I feel like Animal Crossing has consumed my life lately, which I'm not complaining whatsoever. Uh, so I, I thought a little bit too much about this build, but hopefully you guys do enjoy that. And uh, I don't know. I hope this is a good video because I had a lot of fun making it. So I hope you guys like it. Um, but I was trying to figure out what else I wanted to add above the bed because I felt like it was a little bit empty. Uh, and I added this little kitty over here. I could imagine Dom having a cat because it's so cute. And then he's like, he doesn't want to go for runs with me and like get all the gains and be a little sad by his cat. But like be like, but you're so cute in Deedaroo. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyway, it's like the middle of the night and I'm recording this. My sleep schedule is so messed up right now. I think a lot of you guys can relate to that. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I don't think this TV I placed is going to be functional. I did not play test it at the time of recording this, but I thought it looked nice. And in theory, it made sense to have it up there. So you're like laying in bed watching TV, but the Sims can't lay in bed and watch TV. They have to sit. So yeah, but we're adding um, a basketball and a soccer ball over here. I was having so much issue with the basketball. No matter how I raised it with the shelf or with the nine and zero keys, it would drop down as soon as I let go of it. And I don't know why, uh, but I eventually did get it up there and I think it looks okay. It's just like where you can craft some stuff and also storage for some of the sports equipment. Uh, and then I went and grabbed these boxing gloves. Oh my goodness. I'm just trying to imagine a sheep with boxing gloves. It's an interesting image. It's adorable. Uh, but I think that's pretty much it for like actual athletic stuff. Other than we're going to be hanging up a jersey on this wall. I didn't realize the framed jersey came in pink. And I got very excited when I realized that. So of course that gets hung up on the wall. And just thinking about how if Dom were a sim, what would his profession be? I think he would be a personal trainer. I could just imagine that him trying to instruct you on how to get the best out of your workout. And I think it would be just interesting to create that character in the sims i might do that at some point create him in the sims i have no idea what he would look like but i think it would be kind of fun to play as a character that lives in a house like this and is really into working out and also loves the color pink and lives in just like a little wooden cabin and enjoys woodworking and i don't know it, it just sounds really cute he can go fishing all the time i feel like i always run into dom out fishing so just thoughts uh, and uh, I guess since we're getting closer to the end of the video, I should probably start thinking about what I'm going to name this. I have like pastel athletic tiny house written down. I have animal crossing tiny house. Um, I have no idea, like athletic enthusiast, but I feel like this is not what you think of when you think of that as a tiny house. So I'm not really sure. So I guess it's good that by the time you guys see this, this video will have a title. Hopefully it's not a horrible one, but we'll see. Uh, Cause I have not the slightest idea what I'm going to name this. And uh, it's not like most times where it's like, oh, it's, it's a cozy family home. Let's pick out something like this. This one's a, a little bit of a strange build. And now we're into the bathroom. It's got a pink toilet and a pink shower. And there's no sink in here because there's a sink in the kitchen and it's a very small bathroom. I know with move objects, I could fit it all in here, but I didn't want it to look too squished. And even though we're building a squish, but I wanted it to look uh, pretty roomy. So I kept it like that. And then up on the front porch here, we're just going to be adding this little log seat so you can uh, sit and watch the birds or whatever you'd like on your front porch. Also a little wind chime. And I'm not sure what else we add other than some additional flower boxes. Just finishing up the last couple of touches in this house. I just had a blast with this and I hope you guys like this even though this voiceover was a total mess and I just gushed over a villager in Animal Crossing, which I assume most of you don't care about at all. But hopefully the build was at least enjoyable and I hope you guys are all doing well. But uh, yeah, we're just going to finish this up here and then head on into screenshots. 
I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching. Enjoy the screenshots and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody. Thank you.